Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a Lego haul to share with you today. Some of it is new and then I've got some absolute bargains that I found on Vinted to share with you after. And just a little disclaimer, this is not from one haul. I've been back just a few times and picking just a little bit up each time. And I just thought, because not, I don't know that there's very many of you that are enjoying these Lego hauls, I thought I'd just do one video for the people that are and then it doesn't get sort of bombardy for the people that aren't really that interested. So the first thing that I've got to share with you is just one of the pick a brick cups and you'll see that I've just got masonry bricks in both the 2x2, two two, no, 2x1 two grey and then the 1x4 in the sort of sandy colour. This is because I've started creating my own little house and I ran out of both of these colours so I picked up one of these at one of the time on one of the occasions that I went into the Lego shop. So I haven't unpacked these or carried on with the house yet. But because I've reused the cup, you go back and you save 75p. So they're 14 99 you save 75p if you take the cup you already have. So I've got four cups, because if you saw my last Lego haul, you'll have seen that I had, in fact, have I shared that haul with you? Well, I'll need to, <laughs> I'll need to make sure they go up in order. Um, I bought four of those cups. So I just, I'll just reuse those. Then I went back with my sister on June 1st. So I was off on half term and I just fancied a little mooch in blue water. I needed a new dress for a Hindu. So I texted my sister and said, oh, I'm going to pop to the Lego shop if you want to come. And she said, oh, I was going anyway. And I'd completely forgotten that June 1st was release date. So my sister and I bought things together and she bought the giant minifigure. She bought a load of brick heads, etc. But what I picked up were the Harry Potter brick heads. So I've got really, really obsessed with the brick heads at the moment. I've got all the current Star Wars ones. I haven't got all the old Star Wars ones because I've only just started collecting. And some of them are going for like 50 um, plus pounds on eBay for the original ones. So I might collect some of them, but I'm not desperate for them at the moment. So yeah, so they've brought out three new sets of brick heads. So you've got this one, which is Draco Malfoy and Cedric Diggory. Then you've got... Kingsley Shacklebolt and Nymphadora Tonks from the Order of the Phoenix, as in from the actual order, not from the film. And then you also have Harry Potter and Cho Chang. And I watched somebody else's video recently. It might have even been Brixie because I watched so much of his. And he was saying that if they'd done Harry and Malfoy together in a set, very few people would have bought Cedric and Cho. But I like the fact that you get all four of them and all of their brooms are slightly different. And yeah, I just really like these in their Quidditch robes. So I picked up all of those. Now they're $17.99 for each set of the brick heads. Because my sister had also bought stuff, we got some of the gift with purchases. So we got another one of the Pirate Playground, which she was gonna sell because we both got one and we don't need another one. So she was gonna sell that to somebody that wasn't able to get one. Then there was this one, which is the sort of amusement. I don't know if it's got a name, this one. It's like some amusement park rides. So you've got the one where you smash, you've got Hook a Duck, and then you've got the banana boat ride. I don't know that it, I'm sure it had a name, but it hasn't got the name on the box and it's gone out of my brain. So yeah, so I had, I've got this one because she already has one of these and I didn't. Um, so I kept this one. And then the third purchase was the moving truck. And because she'd spent more money out of our sort of selection, she kept the moving truck. Um, and I, I don't have that one, but I wasn't desperate for it. Now she's made me kind of want it. <laughs> I wasn't desperate for it, so it's absolutely fine. So yeah, so those are the bits that my sister and I picked up, or that I picked up when I was with my sister. And then the other day I went in with Matt because somebody from work wanted the um, the Dark Trooper Lego helmet and hasn't been able to get it in his local stores. And there was one left in ours. So Matt picked that up for him. And when he did, there was a little gift with purchase, which was this VIP summer fun pack which he didn't want, his friend, I mean. So we kept, so it's the, yeah, as I say, the Summer Fun VIP add-on pack. From what I gather, these are pieces that add to existing Lego sets, probably sets that I don't have, but things like the grass and the trees, I thought would, and the tree, palm tree bits, I thought would be quite good to add if I made a little summer home or something like that, because I've got quite into sort of the more creative side of Lego rather than just the builds. So yeah, so we kept the VIP pack. And whilst we were in there, I decided to pick up the Hungarian horn towel. So there's three similar builds to this. You've got the Hungarian horn towel, you've got Forks, and you've got Hedwig. Forks is retired. The Hungarian horn towel is on sale at the moment in Lego. It's gone from 45 to 36. And they didn't have any of the Hedwig. I have seen that and I nearly bought it when we were at Legoland, but I didn't. 
um, but they didn't have any of those in the store. But as this one was on sale and it was double VIP points, I did pick this one up and we would get we got chatting to one of the lads that works in the store who's really lovely always comes over for a chat and he was saying that the wings on this one actually move so then i was like do you know what i'm definitely going to get it because i've kind of made a deal with myself that the main two kind of collections of lego that i will collect will be star wars and harry potter because matt also collects star wars so he'll probably get more of the builds than i will um, and as you know i'm a massive harry potter fan and then we said potentially between the two of us, maybe some of the Lord of the Rings sets. And because I only needed to spend £9 to get another free gift, by the fact there's a free gift, you can tell I spent that money and I picked up the Lord of the Rings brickheads. So at the moment, the only Lord of the Rings stuff that they've got on sale are three sets of brickheads. So you've got this one, which is Gollum and Frodo. Then you've got Gandalf and Balrog. And then you've got um, Aragorn and... Oh, the woman's name's gone out of my head. You're all probably going to be screaming it at the screen. Um, but I can't think of the name, name of the princess. So we've just watched the three Hobbit films. So I picked up these two because both Frodo and Gollum feature in the Hobbit films, although they're not obviously main characters. And we're about to start watching the Lord of the Rings series. And once I've watched those, then I'll go back and get the other four. But I do love the fact that Frodo has a little ring in his hand. <laughs> don't know how it, oh yeah there you go you can probably see it now he has the ring as one of the little accessories which is a really nice touch so yeah so I just picked that up because it was £13.49 so it was a cheaper set of brick heads and I presume that is just because Gollum is that bit smaller so yeah £13.49 for this set the other two sets are £17.99 like all the other two packs of brick heads so normally it's £9.99 for one and then it's £17.99 for a twin pack and then I was on Vinted the other day and I was just literally looking up sort of secondhand brick heads. And there was somebody that was selling 15 Harry Potter brick heads. And with postage and fees and everything else, it's cost me £80. And that is an absolute bargain. They are secondhand. They haven't got the boxes, but I'm not bothered by it because I'm not... I say I'm not a collector. I clearly am, but I'm not as in an investor in Lego. So inside here, I haven't looked at these yet, I just kind of peeked. You've got all the brick heads wrapped up, so they are already built. I am going to dismantle each one into a little sandwich bag over the next few evenings and then take my time rebuilding them because the whole, for me, the whole point of Lego is not just collecting it, it is the build itself. Now they said that only 11 of them have got instruction booklets. So the ones that they had, they did send. So I've got a fair few of the instruction booklets and then any that I don't have, I can use the sort of Lego app to, um, why is my brain not working today? I've had the worst week. Um, I can use the Lego app to find the instructions and then to build them. So I'm going to take the, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take the bubble wrap out of the box and then we'll have a look at the brick heads together. So shall we do the smaller packet first? Do I have some scissors next to me? Oh, honestly, I've stacked everything next to me because there's also a giant book haul next to me that I'm filming at the same time. And I've not left myself very much room to do said filming. So let me just snip this open so we can have a little nose. I think I can see a Dumbledore in here. I'm just going to rip. Whoop. that noise is horrible on camera i apologize if it is so who do we have in our first bundle Ooh. so we have got the hedwig figure and their base plate we have got Ooh. she fell on my lap hermione and her base plate i feel like these ones are smaller than the star wars ones they definitely are You've got Harry here, a random tuba one. I'm not sure if it's come off of one of the builds or if it is a spare piece and so they've included it because it looks as though someone's legs have come off. <laughs> There's Harry. Put Harry on there. Whose legs have come off? Hermione's. Let's put her legs back on, shall we? Oh, no, they're not her legs. I lied. Is it Ron's legs that have come off? I think it might be Ron's legs that have come off. I can't get back on. There we go. So you've got Harry, Ron and Hermione. Now they are different sizes for sure. So, and they've got 
I mean, Harry's got the really dodgy, weird looking eyes. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking. He's having a whale of a time in the garden. There must be another set of Harry Rons and Hermione's. There is Dumbledore. That's like the old Albus Dumbledore, the um, the original actor, I feel. And then let's who, see who's in this set. Because I have a feeling that they must have done Harry Ron and Hermione on their own first. And then I know they did a Harry, Ron, Hermione and Hagrid set because it's currently on sale now. Because I was going to buy it and then when I saw this I thought, well, there's no point, is there, if you're going to get them all in this bundle? Because it is one of the sets in here. All right, so then we've got, oh, there we go. There's a little Ron. Big Ron and little Ron. Now it makes more sense. And his legs have also come off. Let's pop his legs back on. So there's little Ron. Let's put him there next to big Ron. Then we've got Trelawney. Then let's, let's put Dumbledore next to her. God, none of them want to stay on their legs. They're all going mad. Then we've got Nagini. Who has gone berserk. Oh, she must go like that somehow. Like that. Who knows? Nagini, who is broken. I say broken, obviously dismantled. We've got Voldemort there. We've got Hagrid. <laughs> He's got his pink umbrella. I love it. I'm trying to keep stands and things with the characters so that when I dismantle them, I have all the pieces. There's Mad Eye Moody. Ooh. Then we've got McGonagall, who has definitely completely fallen apart. <laughs> oh, there we go. I presume all these pieces are to do with her. I'm not sure about those bits, but there is McGonagall and all her pieces. Then we've got Bellatrix. Oh, I didn't realise that was circle pieces to do her hair. That's created quite a cool effect actually there's Bellatrix there is Harry so that must be the original Harry and then there is Snape so then as I say you've got original Harry big original Ron but there's no original Hermione by the looks of it because then you get Harry Ron and Hermione as this set together with Hagrid and these are the professors of Hogwarts and you get Dumbledore, no you don't, Dumbledore's on his own because you get Trelawney, Mad-Eye, um, McGonagall and Snape, they're a four set, then you get, um, I think, I can't remember if these are together or separate, but you've got Bellatrix, Voldemort and Nagini, and then I did forget that you've also got Hedwig here. So there's Hedwig. So how many is that? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yes, there are 15 here. But in terms of the sets that they're from, I've got the large Harry and Ron, but I don't have the large Hermione. So I'll need to find that one somewhere. And then I do have the small of the three of them. But yeah, these are really fun. They are dusty because obviously somebody's had them on their shelf or whatever they could have given it a little bit of a wipe but never mind as I say what I am going to do is clean them off best as I can and then I will dismantle them all that one's really dusty that's definitely an old one yeah it's all right they are used you know you're not going to get pristine legos but I am going to clean them dismantle them all and then at some point I will rebuild them for my collection so yeah I am I am still happy as I say there's 15 and it cost me 80 pound so it would have cost me so much more to have bought them all separately and so many of them you can't buy anymore so yeah I am really really happy and I particularly wanted it for this guy I do love Snape I wish there was a Dobby one or oh, speaking of Dobby they do have a Dobby build that I was going to buy but then he looked really creepy so both me and my sister or my sister and I passed on that one and then I've seen online since that he has a little gold heart inside him so when you build him he's got a little golden heart and I just think that's amazing so I definitely want it now and I said that to the guy in the shop and he was saying I'm so gutted we've run out now and um, so hopefully when they get restocked I'll get myself one of those in the future 
hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Lots of love. Bye.